Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently um, about half past seven on the morning of Monday the 30th of May. I'm a little bit hungover because I went to the Sunday Jam yesterday and then went to a pub after that, but that's fine. Um, I am actually going to probably not drink um, for a couple of months because I'm going to try and lose a bit of weight and booze is empty calories, so we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll start after I get back from Paris, actually. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. I'm currently reading uh, The Killings at Kingfisher Hill by Sophie Hanna, um, which is one of the Hercule Poirot, uh, Agatha Christie continuations. Uh, it's very good. I'm enjoying that. And then next, I think I'm going to read The Stepford Wives by Ira Levin. So you, you've got that to look forward to later on this week. Dane reads. Hello, it is me. Okay. Oh, finally. I'm fucking okay. A, my computer is... I don't know what's going on here. Basically, I have two computers. I have my desktop PC and my Mac, and they both always like to die on me at the same time. So I'm trying to sit here and do some video editing, and on my desktop computer, Explorer's stopped working, and my internet's gone tits up. And my Mac just sometimes totally crashes and has to be restarted. So I'm just sitting here being like, is, is, any, of, is any of this going to work? It looks like maybe my internet on my PC has started working. Anyway, it is currently quarter past five on Tuesday the 31st of May. Um, tomorrow I am getting um, a new tattoo, so that's very exciting. Um, my internet is working. I've been getting these comments on my phone from YouTube, which are in a like, I don't, I don't know what language they're in, but they're not showing up on my desktop for whatever reason. They've probably been put into spam or something. Um, but yes, anyway, getting my new tattoo tomorrow, so that is very exciting. Um, it is going to be, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to pay for it, because um, tomorrow is the first of the month as well, so like everything, you know, everything all goes out tomorrow, so it's going to be an expensive day. But anyway, I finished reading The Killings at Kingfisher Hall by Sophie Hanna, the Agatha Christie take or whatever, it was a 4 out of 5, very good. Full review coming soon. I also finished reading in bed last night, Paris Directions by Ruth Blackmore and James McConaughey. Um, and basically I've been reading this just to get an idea of what I might go and see and do while I'm in Paris. It's actually quite out of date. You can tell where it's like, so-and-so is closed for renovation but is due to reopen in 2004. And I'm like, Jesus. Um, but I've done a lot of research and basically all of the places I want to go to are still going. Um, and some of them are like uh, like flea markets and stuff as well. So I wasn't too sure of those. Like obviously the Louvre is still going to be open, you know, regardless. But um, yeah, so I read that. Uh, that was probably a 3.5 out of 5 and it, the only reason it didn't get a 4 was because I had that older edition. But there probably is a newer edition of it knocking around, you know. And now I'm reading The Stepford Wives by Ira Eleven, which is probably going to be a 4 out of 5. I do think it could be longer because I'm near the end now already. Um, like with um, Rosemary's Baby, it was like the perfect length to tell the story. Whereas with this, I think if he'd used more length in it, he could have told more story, you know. So... Um, yeah, there's that. My Mac has finally loaded, so we're just going to see now whether it immediately crashes again. Well, that's a good start. Okay. What it does is it opens up like... It creates... Basically, the library or whatever gets corrupt. And then it creates this trash folder. And then it crashes when I try and delete the trash folder. And it's like, but I didn't want you to create the trash folder. The trash folder is just all of the stuff that I've trashed, and I trashed it for a fucking reason. Yeah, it's crashed again, look. So... We'll try, at least this might let me restart Final Cut Pro before it just crashed my entire Mac. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting here trying to get my bloody computers to work. And um, got a little bit of filming to do. Got some work I'm doing. I've been out in the garden. We had weird weather today, so it rained and then it hailed. And now it's sort of not really doing anything, so there's that. Um, what else? I think that's about it. I'm going to read A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen next. I've never read Ibsen before, but I've heard as well that this is a really good one of his plays to go with. So we will see. And I think that's where I'm at. Greetings! It is currently about 35, well, 25 to 10 on Wednesday the 1st of June 2022. I got my tattoo earlier. I can't really show you too much because obviously it's still in the wrapping. Um, but yes, I'll show you soon. I could probably show you a photo on my phone. Let's go old school with this. Looks a bit like that. 
So obviously it's, I'm just letting it heal at the moment. Um, so yeah, that was really easy actually. I went there, my appointment was at 11. I was out by 12.30 and it only probably took half an hour to actually do the tattoo. So that was all good. Um, I had a nap when I got back, as you do. Uh, it's also launch day for this bad boy, The Lightfold Files by Dane Cobain. Uh, so this is book number three in the Lightfold series. And as I say, it's launch day for this today. So i um, been doing some marketing to promote all of that. So that's all been good. You can get it from danecobain.com forward slash lightfold files if you're interested. Or you can go to danecobain.com forward slash Amazon and it'll just take you to all of my books on Amazon. I've also done some stuff out in the garden. So I've planted my two trees. They're now out in the border section of the garden, which is quite nice. I quite like them there. And um, put some more wood chip down and stuff as well. So that's all good. And then the space in between those is probably going to be a potato patch, but probably not till next year now, because I have my existing potato patch. But my existing potato patch is against the fence, and I realised I've done a bit of a cock up, because I can actually put uh, trellises against the fence for climbing plants. So I need to shift where the potato patch is, so I have that space there against the fence for the climbing pad, uh, plants. So uh, yeah, anyway, you live and learn. You learn these things. Um, reading wise, I finished reading The Stepford Wives by Chuck Paul and Nick. It was a 4 out of 5. Uh, review not coming soon though, um, just because I didn't tab it out, but you know, um, I'm glad I read it. I also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I finished reading Paris Directions as well by Ruth Blackmore and James McConaughey. Um, that was like 3.5 out of 5, it was alright, it would do the job. Then I read A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen, which is my first time reading Ibsen. Pretty strong 4 out of 5, I did enjoy it and would definitely read more of his stuff. It was actually really interesting to read all of like the introduction and stuff as well, which goes into more context around why it was written and all of this stuff. And I've now just picked up uh, Murder in the Dark by Margaret Atwood, which I don't know much about other than that I think it's a combination of short stories and poetry. Um, short fictions and prose poems. And it's only like 110 pages long. That's basically why I picked it up. I'm ticking off some more of my shorter reads. Um, I've got back to jogging as well because I need to try and lose some weight. So how many steps am I on today? 11,400. That's not bad. Um, and I've been jogging whilst listening to uh, Catch 22. So that's good. So I'm actually just at the end of a piece here. I'm at the end of part number seven. So that is that is very good. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. That's all I got for you, I think. I'll, I'll try and give you an update tomorrow. Yo, greetings. It is currently quarter past ten on Sunday the 5th of June. Oh my lord, my seat's going all the way back. Um, I guess I have a bit to update you on. I finished reading An Apology for Idlers by Robert Louis Stevenson. That was like a probably 3.5 out of 5. And then um, the Seneca one. Fuck, what's it called? Hang on, let me do it in my foot. On the Shortness of Life, that was a 4 out of 5. And I'm now reading The Boys from Brazil by Ira Levin, which I'm very much enjoying because it's about Nazis and I'm kind of fascinated and appalled at the same time by Nazis. So that's on course for a 4 out of 5. A uh, busy few days, so I got my new tattoo. Uh, it's currently healing, but this ank here on my wrist, ank and an eye of Horus. So I got that on Wednesday. Um, and then Friday and Saturday I played gigs with my band The Ilk both days, so that was good. And then today I've just been being pr as productive as possible. The next thing in life now is I'm leaving for Paris on Friday. So I'm just trying to get as much as I can done before then, trying to tick all my bits off and whatnot. Doing a bit of tidying and the housework that I can do because i got my cleaner coming in on Tuesday as well. So I need it to be at a certain standard before she gets it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've like looked ahead on my to-do list for everything. I want to try and work to the point at which that by when I leave on Friday the 10th, I shouldn't have anything that's due before Saturday the 18th. Because basically I get back from Paris on Tuesday the 14th. Then on Wednesday, hey biggie. Then on Wednesday the 15th, I'm going to Leamington Spa to speak at a writer's workshop. Um, and then on Thursday the 16th, I'm going to the dentist to get my, I need to get two fillings and then my crown fitted from where I have my root canal. I don't actually know how I'm going to pay for that at the moment actually. I have no money, I have literally like 20 quid. Um, I'm overdrafted and maxed out. Um, so I might have to sell some of my shares to get some money in. I am owed, one of my clients is due to pay me and then I'll get paid on Wednesday as well. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, but it's because I had a big tax bill that I've recently paid. I've actually got another big tax bill coming at the end of July, so I don't know how I'm going to cope with that. I'll just, I guess I'll just pay what I can. Um, and it'll be like before, where just because I'll be late paying it, I'll have to, it'll start picking up interest. 
Um, but then I think after that, I don't think I have to pay any tax then until January. So in the meantime, I can just concentrate on working really hard. Um, and it's because I've been spending a lot of money on the house and stuff as well. And that's all done now. There's nothing else I need to buy. So that is good. So I just need to actually save some money now. I say there's nothing else I need to buy. I have like bookish expenses because I've, I've, I need to do a round, a couple of rounds of editing soon on one of my books. I need to hire someone to do some illustrations and then there'll be cover design and layout as well because I'm going to try and probably get one of my poetry books out by the end of the year. I have two that are pretty much ready to go. I don't know if I'll ever publish any more poetry after that because I don't really write it anymore. But I feel as though as I've got these books ready, I might as well put them out, you know. So that's where I'm at. Writing-wise, caught up with most of my stuff. So I've got a guest post and an interview I need to write. Uh, and then I can get back to writing my novel Grebos, which is set in Tamworth. Um, Computer-wise, there's just loads of stuff to do. Because, again, I'm trying to get everything done up to the, the 18th of uh, June. To, to kind of push me ahead which will at least mean that then when I'm away in Paris any work that I do while I'm there will be like a bonus because um, I don't expect I'm going to do much I'll, pr I'll pretty much be taking my laptop around in my bag and then when I sit set down in a cafe or whatever I'll do some work there um, but I want to do lots of touristy stuff so I've booked my ticket to go I'm going to go on a tour of the catacombs um, what else did I get I've got my uh, Louvre ticket booked the Eiffel Tower, I kind of want to go up to the top and you can only get that while you're there. They've sold out of advanced tickets. So there's some stuff I can't do. And then there's other stuff I want to do, like I want to go to Shakespeare and Company, the uh, bookshop. I want to go to a flea market. I want to go to an open mic. So all of those I just go to when I'm there, you know. But yeah, all is looking good. And that seems like a good place to end this week's vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.